Welcome to Poland Uncovered, Top 15 Shocking Fun Facts. In this video, we will take you on a journey through the heart of Europe, exploring the unique and surprising aspects of Polish culture, history, and traditions. Poland, a country with a rich and diverse history, is full of surprises. From its vibrant festivals to its awe-inspiring landscapes, Poland is a gem waiting to be discovered. Whether you're a history buff, a nature of foodie, or a music enthusiast, Poland has something to offer. So sit back, relax, and let's uncover Poland together. Our first stop, an unbelievable festivity that's larger. Before we dive into the vibrant festivities of Poland, let's take a moment to appreciate a simple yet significant aspect of Polish culture, their deep-seated love for bread. In Poland, bread is more than just a staple food. It's a symbol of prosperity and luck. Poles have a profound respect for bread. It's considered bad luck to waste it, and it's often given as a traditional welcome gift, symbolizing wishes for abundance. This deep-rooted love for bread is evident in the wide variety of breads available throughout the country, from hearty rye to fluffy wheat and everything in between. So if you're a foodie, Poland's love for bread is a must-know. Now let's turn up the volume and head to the most unbelievable festivity in Poland. One, imagine a festival bigger than Woodstock, right in the heart of Europe, Welcome to Poland Rock Festival, a unique celebration of art, music, and community spirit that swept Poland. It's not just a music festival, it's an experience. Formerly called Woodstock Festival, it has grown to be the largest free open-air festival globally. Each year, over 600,000 music enthusiasts from around the world visit, changing the peaceful Polish countryside to a vibrant hub. It's a celebration of life, love, and freedom, creating memories and relationships that last. And what's unique about Poland Rock it's free, no entrance fee, making it accessible for everyone. The festival takes pride in its diverse lineup, ranging from rock to electronic music. Essentially, it's more than a concert. It's a celebration of art, music, and community spirit. If you're a music lover, Poland's Pol and Rock Festival is a must visit. Two, believe it or not, Poland is home to the largest accumulation of loose sand in Central Europe, the Bladowska Desert. This vast expanse of sand may seem out of place, but it's a unique part of Poland's diverse landscape. The Bladowska Desert was created thousands of years ago by a melting glacier, leaving behind an impressive deposit of sand. It's like a slice of the Sahara right in the heart of Europe. But don't let the name fool you. The Bladowska Desert sees more rain than a typical desert, which has given rise to unique vegetation and wildlife that have adapted to these conditions. It's a place where history, nature, and geography intersect to create a truly one-of-a-kind landscape. So, if you're an adventurer, Poland's Bladowska Desert is a must-see. Poland is not just a land of geographical wonders and unique beverages. It's also home to a unique art form, paper cutting or Wysenanki. A marvel of precision and creativity, Wysenanki is a traditional Polish art form that involves cutting intricate designs from paper. Originating in the 19th century, it began as a cheap and cheerful way to decorate homes. Today, it's not just a decoration, but a symbol of Polish folk culture, a testament to the creativity and resilience of the Polish people. Each piece of Wysenanki carefully crafted tells a story of its own, capturing the beauty of everyday life, the changing seasons, and the spirit of Polish traditions. So if you're an art lover, Wysenanki, this unique Polish art of paper cutting is a must see. It's a testament to the Polish knack for transforming the simple into the extraordinary. Three, ever thought of mixing beer with raspberry syrup? Well, the Polish do. This isn't your average run-of-the-mill brew. It's a quirky yet delightful tradition that adds a sweet, fruity twist to the typical bitter beer taste. And the innovation doesn't stop there. When the snowy winter sets in, Poles take their beer game to a whole new level. They warm it up and infuse it with the aromatic flavors of cinnamon and cloves, creating a comforting, festive beverage that's perfect for those chilly nights. It's a testament to the Polish spirit of creativity and their knack for making the most out of every ingredient and every season. It's not just a drink, it's an experience, a warm embrace from the heart of Poland itself. So if you're a beverage enthusiast, Poland's unique beer mix is a must try. In the heart of Poland sits a city that carries the weight of a tragic past, but shines, shines brightly with resilience. That city is Warsaw. Once obliterated, it was reborn through art, a tale that needs to be told. The old town of Warsaw, a cultural and historical center, was destroyed during World War II. Undeterred, Warsaw's citizens initiated a great task of resurrecting their city, guided by the 18th century paintings Bellotto. This rebirth was not only physical, 
but also a preservation of culture and national spirit. Each structure in the Old Town speaks of a triumph over tragedy. The art of Bellotto still thrives in the city, symbolizing the power of art and resilience of the Polish people. His paintings were their hope, leading them towards renewal. For history enthusiasts, this tale of Warsaw's rebirth is worth exploring. It's more than a story of demolition and rebuilding. It's a testament to the indomitable human spirit's ability to endure and prosper against all odds. 6. In Poland, Christmas Eve, known as Wigilia, is a time for family, reflection, and a feast of 12 dishes. This time-honored tradition is marked by a meatless feast, each dish symbolizing one of the 12 apostles. As the first star is spotted in the sky, symbolizing the star of Bethlehem, the feast begins. It's not just about the food, but about the shared bond between family and friends. It's a time for reflection, for sharing stories, for celebrating together. Traditional dishes such as beetroot soup, pierogi, and poppy seed cake grace the table as families gather around. The tradition fosters a sense of community, a shared bond that transcends generations. So if you love traditions and a good feast, Poland's Wigilia is a must experience. It's a blend of religious reverence, familial warmth, and culinary delight wrapped up in one festive evening. Truly a Polish tradition that captures the spirit of Christmas beautifully. Five. In Poland, your name has a special day of the year and it's celebrated as if it's your birthday. Now let's dive into this fascinating tradition. Imagine a day dedicated to everyone who shares your name. That's exactly what happens in Poland. This custom, known as name day or imieniny, is a widely celebrated tradition, often overshadowing birthdays. How does it work? Well, it's quite simple. Each day of the year is associated with specific names derived from Catholic saints feast days. If your name corresponds to the day, it's time for a celebration. Friends and family gather, bringing gifts and well wishes. A feast is prepared, laughter fills the air, and memories are made. It's a unique way to honor individuals and their namesakes, fostering a sense of community. The tradition not only celebrates the person, but also the shared bond between those who carry the same name. So if you love celebrations, Poland's name day tradition is a must experience. 6. Did you know that Poland has produced 18 Nobel laureates, including Marie Sklodowska Curie and Lech Walisa? That's right. The land of the white and red has been the cradle of some of the world's greatest minds. Take, for instance, Marie Sklodowska Curie, a trailblazer in the field of science, and the first woman ever to win a Nobel Prize. Not just that, she's also the only person to have received it twice in two different sciences, physics and chemistry. Talk about breaking glass ceilings. And then there's Lech Walesa, a name synonymous with the Solidarity Movement. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1983 for his relentless fight for workers' rights and democracy. Poland's Nobel laureates have indeed left indelible marks on the world stage, shaping the course of history and science. So if you're a fan of great minds, Poland's Nobel laureates are a must-know. From the brilliance of the Nobel laureates, we move on to something that's equally iconic in Poland, vodka. Yes, you heard it right. Poland is well known for its vodka, and it's more than just a drink, it's a part of Polish culture. This spirit is often served chilled and neat, and is a staple at celebrations and gatherings. Whether it's a wedding, a birthday, or just a casual get-together, a bottle of vodka is always at hand. Poland is home to many vodka distilleries, each having their unique recipes and flavors, adding to the country's rich gastronomic landscape. The Polish love for vodka is a testament to their ability to celebrate life and enjoy the moment, no matter the circumstances. So if you're a beverage enthusiast, Poland's love for vodka is definitely a must know. Seven, Polish children are trained in the unique tradition of wild mushroom hunting. This is not just a leisurely forest walk. It's a rich cultural practice combining knowledge of terrain and seasons with family bonding. The main challenge lies in distinguishing between safe and hazardous mushrooms. The forests of Poland teeming with mushroom varieties not found elsewhere, turn this into a thrilling treasure hunt. The excitement of the search, the joy of discovery, and the satisfaction of a full basket. These elements make this practice truly special. So for nature enthusiasts, this Polish tradition is a must try. Eight, Polish television has a peculiar way of dealing with English films. A single male Polish voice speaks over the English voices. This unique approach to dubbing is quite a spectacle to behold. Unlike most other countries that use subtitles or multiple voice actors to dub different characters, Polish television typically employs a single male voice to speak over the original audio track. This voiceover doesn't attempt to mimic the characters, 
nor does it seek to provide dramatic effect. Instead, it calmly narrates the dialogues and actions of all characters, regardless of their gender or age. This method, known as Lecter, offers an intriguing blend of the original actor's performances with the added layer of Polish narration. So if you're a film enthusiast, Polish television's unique dubbing method is a must watch. Nine, in Poland, surnames aren't just names, they reveal your gender too. Polish surnames have this fascinating aspect where they morph depending on whether they refer to a man or a woman. Now, how does that work? Well, if a surname ends in ski or sieki, it indicates a male. On the other hand, if it ends in ska or sieki, it points to a female. So let's say we have the surname Nowakowski. In Poland, a man would be Mr. Nowakowski, while a woman would be Miss Nowakowska. Pretty neat, right? But here's a twist. When you cross the Atlantic and land in the United States, all Polish surnames take the male form, regardless of the gender. So if you're a linguist, Poland's gender-specific surnames are a must-know. Delve into Poland's rich history with a visit to the Castle of Teutonic Order in Malbork, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This colossal brick fortress stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the Teutonic Knights, a German Roman Catholic religious order who constructed it in the 13th century. This remarkable castle, the world's largest built entirely from bricks, is a symbol of Poland's historical grandeur. Serving as the Knights headquarters for almost a century and a half, the castle embodies their dominance and power. Today, it welcomes visitors from around the globe to explore its historical treasures and unique brick construction. It's more than just a sightseeing spot. It's a journey back in time and a vibrant piece of Poland's history. 11. The national colors of Poland, red and white, aren't just colors. They symbolize love, sacrifice, bravery, goodness, and purity of intentions. These vibrant hues, deeply embedded in Polish history, hold a profound significance. The top white stripe represents peace and purity, reflecting the unblemished spirit of the Polish people. The red, on the other hand, symbolizes the courage and resilience that have been the backbone of the nation through centuries of trials and tribulations. It's a tribute to the love and sacrifice of generations who fought for Poland's freedom. The colors also convey the inherent goodness and noble intentions of the Polish, a testament to their warm-hearted and hospitable nature. So if you appreciate symbolism, the significance of Poland's national colors is a must know. If you found this information intriguing and wish to learn more about such fascinating facts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for next video. Your ongoing support is vital to keep these stories alive. Let's continue this journey of discovery together.